Hey everybody, Danny Mott here. Thanks for joining us. Have you ever found yourself stood over the golf ball focusing on so many things that it can just seem overwhelming and, and you just get confused? Well, the great John Jacobs, a wonderful golf coach, described the golf swing as simply two turns and a swish of the golf club. And you know what? It can really be that simple, but you need to focus on a couple of key areas to do this. And in this week's lesson, I'm going to share with you those key areas, the key things that are going to simplify this golf swing. So you focus on the big stuff first before you start to tweak it and improve the little bits around the edges. All right. So that's what I'm going to do in this week's golf lesson. Before I do though, look, if you're new to the channel, for your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing. Just press that little bell button, next subscribe button. You get notified every time I release a video just like this one. Plus, I'll always put a free downloadable practice plan in the description box below so you'll never have to remember a thing. Okay, great. So let's get stuck into this video. Now, the first thing we're going to focus on is how do you get that swish element in the golf swing? It sounds simple, but you know what? I don't know about you, but when you start in a few dodgy shots, the control comes in. You try really, really hard. This gets stiff. Or you're trying so hard to put the club into position as opposed to swing the club through those positions. Golf swing is not a static motion, it's a flowing motion. That is how we create effortless motions. The second thing we're going to focus on is then how you guide this swish so it's under control, so guiding, yes. And secondly, how you then, how the, how the body moves to generate speed and power with it too. So, Let's start with a simple swish. The first thing I want you to do, and if you can do this with me right now, even just grab a golf club, so, so important. Grab the club, just feel the weight of the club, really feel it in your hands, up and down. Then what I want you to do is this. I want you to swing the, the weight just up here, just over your trail shoulder, and allow the mass of the club to start off with just to fall down to the ground. Now, when I'm allowing it literally just to fall down to the ground, you'll notice when I've let it fall, it's naturally gone up here. Now, I haven't tried to get up there, just like a pendulum, if I was allowed to fall, the club comes up. I asked one of my research students to do this, and he did this. And he went, and he stopped. What's happening at that stage? You're adding too much control into the motion. You've got to learn to let go of this. So when the club swings up here, allow the mass to fall and let it go wherever it goes. Let that sensation sink in. Now start with your lead hand, do the same thing. Sling the mass up, throw the mass down, backwards and forwards. Then join both hands together, just feeling that, right? now. What we're going to do now is start adding a little bit of golf swing to that. Now, to hit a straight shot, nearly every player on tour has a swing that swings at a 45 degree angle. Okay, so if you look at this shaft angle here, it's not at 90, it's at 45. Now, when the club swings back, look at the shaft here, it's also at a 45 degree angle. So when they're swinging this mass around, you'll notice it's a 45 here, and then look, it'll be also a 45 on the way through. So what I want you to do now is when you've got this swinging club head, you feel the momentum of this, I want you to now practice doing this. Swing it to 45, and then just simply swing it to 45 and stops it. One, two, so it's kind of whipping the club back here, and then through here, feel that momentum going backwards and forwards. Now I've got obviously some graphics here showing you what to do, but you can very simply put a couple of alignment sticks if you want to guide yourself just outside the ball line. Do it maybe with one hand first, maybe your trail hand first one or twice, then your left hand once or twice, and then bring both hands in. Just literally using it as a simple guide to feel the momentum of the club and also the line that you are throwing that momentum on. So that sounds pretty simple, right? Just learn to free up the club. But it sounds simple, but how often do you find yourself, you hit a few dodgy shots and before you know it, you're back to holding it tight and trying too hard again and the stiffness comes back in. Don't let that happen. Now, secondly, once you're freeing up the club head, you also need to learn how to free up the body too. Now, I don't mean free up the body by moving it around all over the place because that won't give you any control over this club, but you need to free it up in the right way. Now, that's easier said than done. So in order to make this happen much easier, you need to look at working on some drills, some drill, some wonderful feels. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I came up with a video where I gave a brilliant drill on how exactly how to do this. It went down so, so well. And I learned it actually watching the Olympics. There was this young girl, wonderful athlete, and she threw a shot putt. 
and the shot put didn't go very far. And the second one, however, she did, and it went loads further, like two or three meters further, which is a massive difference. And the reason why it went further was she used her body freely and in the right way. In the first one, I see this on a, uh, in golf swings, all she did was use her arm. What she didn't use was the whole body from the ground up. Now you may have heard about you know using the ground and what have you, but some people just don't know how to do it and how to feel it. But the shot put analogy really, really helps. So what I want you to imagine is this: on your back swing, I want you to imagine you're holding the shot put, and what you're going to use, you're going to use the ground to imagine you're sh pushing the shot over behind you here. Now what this is going to do is going to help you feel how to use the feet, the body, and everything. Look all lined up the left leg the left side pushing that shot this way this is going to help you free up the backswing and the same on the way down look same principle look i don't just going to push my arm look i'm going to use my my trail leg my side to free it up i'm pushing it upwards and forwards yeah this gets me twisting and spiraling in such a way that's going to start to give me the feeling of exactly how i free up my body now once you've done this once or twice what you can then do is bring back the 45 degree, uh, exercise. So put the club behind your shoulders. If this is a bit too much like a, a problem for flexibility, just put it across your chest like this, doesn't really matter. And what I want you to do now is imagine this, you've got the shot put and you're gonna use the ground to shot the put behind you. So I'm gonna use the ground, I'm gonna pivot and throw the shot here. Now as I'm sh throwing it, notice the angle of my shoulders. They're at 45. So throw the shot this way, keep it at 45 back into impact. Now, same on the way through, look. Throw it to 45. Now, the wonderful thing about this, you might have some injuries, you might lack, lack some flexibility, so you simply do this to the best of your ability. But this will give you direction in exactly the feels that you need to free up the swing. It's rather me just say, just swing freely and whatever you, that's all good, but this will give you the wonderful sensation. If you do this for like one or two minutes, each day, stand ready. That's the other thing, posture-wise. When you're ready, stand ready to do this. Feel the balance in your feet. I see a lot of people when they're setting up to the swing, they just stand any old way. Then they wonder why they, they don't use their body correctly. Get yourself set up. Be ready here for the next move, which is to throw the shot over there. Come back into impact. Throw the shot over there. Really then start to sense this motion. Develop just by a minute or two a day this sensation of how the body moves freely, but still powerfully and under control. Yeah? Now, it's, that's what I'm saying. The drills will help you feel the motion as opposed to just, oh, Danny says just kind of free up the motion. No, you've got to free up with power and control. Once you've done that once or twice, start to put the club in your hands. If you wanted, you could just do it one-handed and then just imagine we're going to throw the shot put this way or again, throw it behind us here, whatever you want to do. But the key is, is to keep the flowing club now and start to marry this with the flowing body. You'll notice how the club starts to work much more together with the body. So what you end up getting is the, where the uh, body flows, the club follows or goes yeah where the body flows the club goes if i do this that's going to be out of balance that goes put the club out of balance if i go this that's going to throw the club out of balance from here look i'm shotting the club forward and backwards all right let's have a look at this in action so i've got that sensation backwards and forward so shot the club behind me feel what that's like Feel what it's like here, do a few of those flowing motions, and then away we go. That's really nice. And one of the things I'm seeing with this, I can really feel how the club naturally releases with a load of speed. Why? Because of my arms. They're relaxed, they're passive, they're being thrown around the body by the, uh, what my body's actually doing. So you're, wherever your body flows, the club will actually go. So that's where you have to learn the feeling of how that body moves. Once you've done that, you don't have to worry about where the arms go, they will simply be led by this entire motion, and so will your club. So that's when you get the all, all important two turns and a swish. So I really hope that helps. So let's just summarize. What have we done? You need to learn, first of all, to let the club swish 
through. How do you do this? Let it flow up, let it fall down to the ground so the club literally goes down and then the club flies up. Don't let it just stop here. That's too much control. Swing it at a 45 degree angle. Get a rhythm of this. 45, this is how straight shots are hit. Then allow the body to complement this motion. So ultimately here, the body leads this motion powerfully and in balance, okay? But it's completely free too. Use the shot put analogy, push back from the ground, and again, push back from the ground. Just educate your body how it moves. Same thing here. Educate the body, look. One, there's a shot put, you're throwing it back here, back into back, and you're throwing it here. Once you've done this, look at how this marries in, look, with the, the swing. The body is complementing the arc and helping you guide this all the way through. So I really hope this helps. Hope it helps get a magic two turns and a swish. Thank you, John Jacobs, for suggesting this. A wonderful, wonderful uh, idea. But if you're new to the channel, it's one of your first videos of mine, press that subscribe button and the bell. And remember, look, if you know one of your friends who likes some simplicity, maybe share this video. Give them some simple, simple stuff to work on. And remember, there's a free downloadable practice guide in the description box below, so you never have to remember a thing. But until next week, have a great golfing week.